This is Los Angeles' most trendy shopping street. I am in the neighborhood of Venice Beach right now, and this is Abbott Kinney Boulevard. In this video, I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see what I can see. And this is a one mile street that is like really quite walkable. There are tons of shops, there are tons of restaurants, and you know, people often say, well, nobody walks in LA. And let me tell you, there's a, a lot of people walking out here today, even though it is a non tip typical rainy day in Los Angeles. Many of the shops that are here are flagship shops for trendy brands like this is a street that they want to be on. And the restaurants, quite busy. This little like Italian restaurant, this is like the line to eat at this place. Looks like they're serving up some Italian sandwiches at Al Antico Vinao. I probably pronounced that incorrectly, but this is not an Italian language learning channel. All right, so uh, this is about three blocks from the beach in Venice Beach. You've probably heard of the Venice Beach Boardwalk, which is certainly the most popular place to come in Venice Beach, but the Boardwalk is like pretty low end souvenir shops. This on the other hand, pretty high end. Many of the brands here, many of the restaurants here, they are not cheap. This place is called The Butcher's Daughter, and it's just a, like a, it's a really neat looking restaurant. Uh, and it's also not cheap. Like you walk in, you wait in line in kind of like a little garden as you wait to be seated. And they've even got like outdoor seating here, like also in a garden. So the outdoor seating is definitely a holdover from COVID where, uh, these restaurants got to put their outdoor tables out here and many of them have kept them, which I think is pretty cool. Also, tons of murals. So the street art, pretty cool here on goodies, unique goods, nothing over $25. Circular library, no books in there. Instead, it is cashmere, long life experience, what it says there. Like I say, great place for window shopping. You can just walk by and say, do I wanna get that jacket? Probably not. Cookman Venice, you can get good chef's wear right here. Uh, and it's like a, I don't know, you kind of like go in and then go into the left and yeah, that's right. Cookware, that's cool. All right, another building with a big mural on it right here. Not just on the side, but like integrated into the development of the whole building. Uh, a scourge of Venice, in my opinion are these um, scooters out here, these bird scooters and things like that. We got street vendors out here, get some clothes from the, the VW bus, maybe get some pins, maybe get some patches, you know, very trendy. Oh, by the way, I am here on December 22nd. So this is uh, three, three days before Christmas, if my math is correct. So definitely a lot of people out here doing their last minute Christmas shopping. Green Leaf has a little patio out here where you can eat well and drink well, now serving all day breakfast. Cause you know, it's never too late for breakfast. All right, uh, as we see here, we got another cool like Venice mural and this crosswalk uh, is my favorite crosswalk here. Why? It's the rainbow crosswalk, it's kind of cool. It's like crossing the yellow brick road. It's like crossing the um, rainbow brick road. Yeah. All right, you don't see many rainbow crosswalks abound. Now the rent here in Abikini really high, and so you will see tons of stores and restaurants that are out of business because they just frankly can't pay for the rent. I was uh, looking at like the property prices here, and they say like the housing prices or the property prices on Abikini Boulevard are like in the top one percent of all property values in the USA. So a very expensive place to operate. Uh, and in the Venice Beach neighborhood, many celebrities live here. Uh, I think Robert Downey Jr. is one of the notable ones. Arnold Schwarzenegger got his fame uh, building muscles in Venice Beach. So there's a lot of like great LA celebrity history in this neighborhood. Here's another very interesting mural. This is kind of like a photorealistic uh, art here on the wall. Got the mail person delivering the mail. And we've got more of these Scourge scooters. Why are they Scourge scooters? Because people just leave them everywhere. Like they're supposed to be parked in these areas, but people just leave them wherever they want to. Uh, there's, a, there's a flash sale here at Velvet 
by Graham and Spencer. I, see, I'm clearly not trendy enough to even know all of these brands. John Fluvog, I the 10 days that. of Vogmas daily shoe ideas. Art Unified, just uh, like an art gallery. We've got a, a sunglass plate. There are a lot of sunglass stores uh, here. This is a cool um, coffee shop. This is one of my wife's favorite coffee shops. This is called uh, Intelligentsia. You don't even see like a sign. It's that kind of place. Like, why would you bother to put up a sign bigger than this? But they do some pretty neat, like hand pour or drip coffee. Uh, check this out. Our other favorite is uh, Blue Bottle Coffee, which is kind of like right where I started this video. It's on the side of Abbot Kinney Boulevard that's closest to the beach. Uh, they're originally from Oakland, but they make some pretty solid coffees as well. Allbirds, known for their comfy, cozy shoes. My wife, OC Girl, enjoys her Allbirds. One of the challenges here is parking. There's very little parking along Abbot Kinney Boulevard. So you may be parking a long way and walking. There's street parking and it's like, it's free if you can get one, but it is very challenging to get it. So, you know, you may be, uh, you know, pay for valet parking or something like that. That's just the, the LA experience is often paying for parking. It's nice, even though it was a rainy day, the sun is starting to come out now. Very typical for the LA area. Might rain for a little bit, but it doesn't often rain for long. Uh, Adidas has a store right here for their shoes. Like things on the, they're definitely like a lot of shoes and a lot of sunglasses uh, on this particular street. Now, I know they haven't invented smell of vision yet, but let me tell you, I can smell the ice cream and probably the waffle cones from Salt and Straw already. Salt and Straw ice cream chain uh, that originated in Portland, and they have some really cool. Oh, hi there, hi there, doggies. Hi, hi, hi. All right, uh, they have some really interesting ice cream flavors: almond brittle with salted ganache, gingerbread cookie joe, and classic flavors like pear and blue cheese. Uh, so if you want some unique ice cream check out Salt and Straw. That's probably like the ice cream shop to get on Abbot Kinney. And last time I walked down here, we got some uh, with our daughter. They have kids cones, they have regular ice cream too. Uh, for the unadventuresome, we have some more shoes in this window. We have Electric and Rose, some kind of like colorful pastel-y type things. Abbott's Neighborhood Pizzeria. If you're looking for cheap pizza by the slice, you're gonna find it right there. We've got Burrow. Uh, we are cashless, definitely a big trend in LA. This is kind of like a little like gift shop. That's what it is. You know, gift shops don't exist in many places anymore, but you can get your little gifts in just kind of a random gift shop right there. Still a few houses on this street. You can, uh, you know, rent and live right along Abbott Kinney. Tattoo parlor. Open seven days a week, walk-ins welcome. If you wanna come home from your LA trip with a, you know, <clears throat> I Heart Mom tattoo, or maybe even I Heart Venice Beach. Uh, Sage Natural Wellness, uh, another big popular thing around here are these like, um, what, natural cough and cold relief. It's like uh, wellness, skin care, therapeutical sort of things. Uh, we'll see some on the other side of the high-end soaps, uh, soap brands that are here too. This is another uh, popular pizza joint. Six bucks, seven bucks for a slice of pizza from there, in case you're wondering what the prices are. Right, a lot of the places, you don't even know, like what's the sign of this place? What's the name of this place? Their name, it's like a bar or restaurant, but they put their name right here. This is the name of the place. They don't want it too big. They don't really want you to know what it is all that much. That's how you're cool and you're trendy. Uh, some nice murals here too. This looks like a, um, I don't know, I was gonna say a rhinoceros, but it's not a rhinoceros. It's maybe like a, like a bear or a cat. I don't know. The sign says, support urban wildlife. Okay, I will do so. Uh, LA is a big movie town. So in some of these places that are like closed and waiting for new tenants, you know, they put up movie posters. In this case, Netflix is definitely the big advertiser advertising their new shows, leave the world behind in select theaters and then streaming on Netflix. Zadig and Voltaire, and some people wrote some graffiti here on the wall. 
I'd rather have a bottle in front of me than a frontal lobotomy. All right, there we go. Yeah, I can ask you. That's your uh, words of wisdom for today. Brooks Running Shoes has a store right here. And you can see when I say these are flagship stores, I mean, they've got like a big screen in the back and they've got this like little display for Brooks. So uh, definitely these brands spend their money uh, when they put one of these uh, stores in. Uh, the Brig is kind of like a dive bar here that they've actually made like quite fancy. It is closed right now because I guess it's uh, too early for a dive bar, but they've also got like a big uh, outdoor seating patio where on a nice day you can enjoy a drink out here at one of these kind of wooden tables in the beer garden of sorts. Cool yellow house. I think if I lived on Abbot Kinney, I would definitely live in this house on the corner because this is my color for sure great way to get around venice is by biking or skateboarding just for the lack of all the parking we got another movie mural here what is this for p-o-o-r-t like i can't read it it's poor things poor things in theaters now by searchlight pictures probably meant for driving by when you're a little farther away for it. What do we got here? Meet the Owl Reset. Embark on a healing journey of vegan mineral broth elixir, bone broth elixir, uh, like bone broths. Very popular in LA. It's like the, um, that's the word I'm looking for. It's like the fountain of youth. I like this car right here. They've got their uh, nose on it. They've got their eyes. They've got their Antlers. Is this this is a thing in the USA? Is this a thing where you're from? Do people make their cars look like antlers? Buck Mason. This is like a shop in a cool old house. These cool old craftsman houses. Uh, you know, people used to this used to just be a living street. Now it's turned into businesses, and I love how they've just converted the houses to that. Shinola, Detroit. Love from Detroit. It's the season of gifting, so they got a lot of cool American leather goods in here. Leather watch bands, leather backpacks. The Stronghold, trademark Los Angeles 1895. Do you want to get yourself a fancy hat? Well, if you do, this is the place. Hoka, uh, which are the shoes I like? Uh, how do I know? Uh, I'm wearing some Hoka shoes right here. Uh, and so they got a ton of Hoka shoes. Actually, last time I was here about a month ago, I saw they had some hiking boots and pick those up for my next trip. What do I like about Hoka's, they're just like super comfy. Um, and uh, they come in my size, size 14, double wide, four wide. Cool place to sit right here in this restaurant where you look right out on the sidewalk. And as we come up to here to Venice Boulevard, this is one of the main uh, like arteries. If you were going down to the beach, you would be probably driving off the 405 to Venice Boulevard. On this corner, we have a pressed juicery for some very expensive juices, probably like $10 or more per bottle for those juices. Alfred Tea House, if you're looking for some teas, this is a good place to get it. They got coffee too. Lemonade LA is like a modern cafeteria. They've got some uh, good, healthy, tasty foods in there. And uh, if we go to the left, which I'll go to the left for a moment and then I'll come back and cross the street, uh, a place you definitely need to check out when you're here, if you've never been to one, is called Erewhon. It is like the high-end supermarket in Los Angeles. Uh, it's probably not where you want to pick up a lot of your cheap picnic or grocery supplies, but it is a uh, sight to behold for the interesting and uh, like, ridiculously expensive products that are in there. I mentioned bone broth. You'll find tons of bone broth things in Erewhon. Erewhon, uh, spelled backwards, is nowhere. It is nowhere spelled backwards. This is the Erewhon supermarket. Have you ever been to a supermarket where they've had three parking attendants in the parking lot? Uh, yes, they have them here because it's so busy they need to help park the cars. Organic grocer and cafe. I'd show you inside, but they hate cameras and every time I've gone in there, they've chased me off. So we're gonna go back to that intersection of Venice and Abbott Kinney and go the other way on the other side of the street. I'll see you there. 
All right, so I'm back with you here. I'm just crossing Abikini at the intersection of Venice Boulevard. That is Lemonade right over there. I'm gonna turn the camera back around. Uh, and on this corner, there's what looks to be a little park or garden that they're building. I don't know, not uh, done quite yet, but we'll walk back on this side uh, so you can see the shops and restaurants on the west side of the street. Now, uh, you know, I see somebody getting into a car, getting picked up over here. Uber, Lyft, pretty good ways to get around Venice. Also, due to the lack of parking, you'll find rideshare to be really plentiful. Uh, so the Grammy Awards, Academy Awards, they're here and like, they'll put up these billboards to be like, this artist for your Grammy Awards consideration. I find it funny to put up like billboards to be like for your consideration, but you know, the people that are on those boards live and walk around LA. Oh, did I mention that the, the reindeer thing was a big thing? Like here's another uh, reindeer car. Okay. We've got Frankie's bikinis. You know, it's interesting that Venice is so close to the beach and there are actually so few um, surf shops or like kind of like beachy stores here on Abbot Kinney. Uh, I think it's too low end, but these are like some uh, oddly like high, high end bikinis. I don't know. When I think of a bikini, I don't really think of like this as an outfit, uh, but that's probably what, uh, what actually makes the money to sell are not the not the swimwear you can get every place else. This is another cool looking store right here in this corner. Sky, they got like a Christmas tree out front, another like roses on the outside. Party Properties, a commercial real estate company here on the corner. Stop by to visit our wishing tree. Okay, we'll make a wish. I guess you make a wish for like uh, expensive house or something. I guess they do more than commercial real estate. Looks like they also do uh, the private houses in the area too. We've got a little brewery here, Southern California Fives Company. As much as I said there wasn't much surf stuff, this one has their menu on a surfboard. Taco Tuesday for half off margaritas. Uh, Taco Tuesday is like a thing at many restaurants here where uh, if it's a Mexican restaurant on Tuesdays you come in and you know, maybe half price tacos or half price drinks. It's funny that on Taco Tuesdays, their tacos aren't half off, but their margaritas are. Um, this is a cool uh, Toyota right here with the little colorful lines on the side that says Toyota. Postmates, which is a food delivery company, has these like interesting murals. Like this is your brain on something. Uh, so this is your probably brain on boba tea is what it looks like another very like LA kind of mural where you look at it and you're just like, huh? Uh, we've got a spirit and next to it, a store called Made in Earth, which is kind of like a lot of um, stone type jewelry in there. Very earthy floor inside. Okay, so I mentioned we'll talk about high-end soaps. Aesop is one of them right here. Uh, which this place has some like really expensive soaps. But what's interesting is they actually have a sink inside that you can test the soaps and wash your hands and see how you like them. They've got a tester out here on the outside so you can put that on your hand. This bottle costs you about $60, something crazy. They've even got like a little shower in the middle. I don't know if you like take a shower in that shower, um, but that's unique. Top drawer, this place says it's tools for nomads. So they've got like a Polaroid camera, uh, like travel wallets and books and colorful socks. So uh, I guess that would uh, be something for us. Digital nomads, world explorers. Tumbleweed and dandelion, another one of these cottages that's now a shop. This place, Oakberry, uh, the very trendy acai smoothies and bowls. This last time I did this walk on video about two years ago, this was a uh, like a Swedish pudding place or something like that. Anyway, just to go to show you how quickly the shops and restaurants turn around here, I feel like the average lifespan is just a couple years. So uh, you could go back and watch the video I did two years ago and see how like half, probably fully half of the stores are different than what they were before. Warby Parker, another sunglass shop. Nice to see you, so they say. Right next to Warby Parker, another sunglass shop, Ray-Ban. 
has their outpost right here. Don't worry, those aren't all the sunglass shops. There's even more. They seem to all be on this side of the street for some reason, uh, but plenty of sunglasses. This is called The Things We Do. What do they do? I don't know, I can't tell from the outside. Timbuktu from San Francisco. They make a lot of like high-end uh, bags like this. Like you can get maybe this yellow and purple one. So uh, messenger bags, uh, overall like good bags, quality shop. All right, continuing down this way. Uh, last time I was here when I did this walk, it's too bad they're not here today because I love them. I think uh, it's because I'm on a Friday instead of a weekend, but there's a, there's a van that comes here that does like haircuts, like barber haircuts where they like park on the side of the street and you can get a haircut in like, like a VW bus kind of thing. Uh, this place, creation, organic food, more than juice, superfoods, vegan, paleo, keto, wellness shots. Uh, you can get like samples of their drinks. They got some rainforest mist going in the diffuser. So if you're looking for something healthy, uh, stop by here. They even have their little uh, creation digest. Learn all about just how healthy their stuff is. <coughs> Oddly, in the middle of Abbot Kinney is just a random liquor store. If you want to get some booze to go along with your tattoos, you'll find it right in there. At Madewell, you'll find life-changing jeans just around the corner. Around the corner from Salt and Straw. Don't eat too much, or maybe you ate too much ice cream, and you need to come over here and get some bigger jeans. Uh, once a year, holiday candles this way at DSND Burga. Okay, here's an interesting mural on the shop that I want to stop and look at. Protect the sacred. When the last tree is cut down, the last fish is eaten, and the last stream poisoned, you will realize you cannot eat money. All right, that is very, very profound, I think. Uh, also feels like something from the Dr. Seuss book, The Lorax, where they cut down all of the trees. I like trees. I don't know about you, but we don't have that many trees here, right? If you look down at Abbott Kinney, what are the trees? Uh, they're palm trees, very Southern California. A lot of people who come from the East Coast to West Coast go like, I don't like this place. I miss all the trees. When I go to the East Coast, I'm like, there's too many trees. I feel claustrophobic. Another sunglass shop, Gooder. If you're looking for sunglasses, uh, I think this place is pretty legit. All their sunglasses, or most of them are like 20 or $25. They're all polarized, really quality sunglasses. At Gooder, uh, that's the one I would recommend of all the ones on this street. They come in lots of different styles and uh, we actually picked some up this year for uh, gifts for our friends. So, you know, oh, this, this place used to be the um, Tom's flagship store. You might see things like, what do you do? Go visit this place. It used to be a shoe store. Now it's a, um, like a kitchen shop where they have a lot of like kitchen appliances and there's a Boba Guys in the center and there's a little courtyard in the back uh, that you could like enjoy your boba, hang out. So if you're looking for boba tea, uh, it's not the most amazing, but it's okay. Fellow, this is an interesting kind of like high-end coffee shop. They got a lot of like um, coffee pouring things. They got a lot of mugs. You can like build your own little brew bar. Uh, OC Girl has one of these Fellow mugs uh, and quite likes it to keep her coffee warm. Faher tea. I always, when I look at that sign, I always think it's fatherly, uh, but kind of like another like, like a surf inspired clothing shop. I mentioned that there really aren't that many surf shops here, uh, but you know, coming out of California, there's a lot of surf inspired clothing for everybody who doesn't actually surf. This place, Farm Rio, uh, made to kind of look like Hawaiian or something with the palm fronds that come down. Uh, some very odd, just nothing. Just a house, just an apartment, just a residence. Who are you closest with in Abbey? Then right after that, we've got uh, one food truck out here. We passed by this on the other way, a coffee shop. Uh, Huset, which is uh, like a Scandinavian outlet for gifts uh, and candy. You can get your Swedish Scandinavian candy right there. 
Uh, marijuana is legal in California, and so if you enjoy partaking in that, you can pick some up here at the Med Men shop. Store hours, 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. They are open a long time. Uh, there's a reason all your friends are Virgos. Okay. Thank you for that. Uh, if you're looking for really more of a divey bar, then here we go, rooster fish. This is, uh, I mentioned the other one was kind of more upscale. Like all of these have been made kind of upscale, but you know, you can feel like you're in a modern dive bar saloon. You can smell the um, scent of alcohol wafting out there. Wafting, wafting. Uh, just back this way is the rainbow uh, crosswalk again. So that look of Venice, right? This, to me, this is like kind of like the main part, like the center of Abbott Kinney. If you're looking for selfie. Hi, I'm on YouTube. Hi, Hi nice. You. Where are you from? Uh, she said, all right, she wasn't listening to me anymore. But if you watch this video later, I love you too. Thanks for saying, hey. The yellow shirt has a tendency to like call out and people are like, hey, I know that guy. Happy Hula Days from Hulu. Again, there's like some store here that's out of business and so they put a Hulu ad in front and there's like, and I guess you could take these things or something like that. Like there are these big papers that they have. So um, maybe for like your dog or something like that. I mean, there's like a, there's like a whole bunch of them. So, oh, interesting. Buck Palmer and Sun Chasers. This is like a house that's been converted into like two different shops. You can see one shop here and the other shop right here. Media Monks, this is the one that has the big mural on it. I think they're probably like a you know, social media group or something like that. I'm guessing. I know no more other than the name and what I think they are. But, you know, LA is since it's home to Hollywood, it's also home to like a lot of these like digital media firms and agencies. Birkenstocks, you can get your, what I'll call it, like classic old school sandals, but you can get these that are like lined with some like fleece or something like that. The stores, so Birkenstock stores surprisingly busy. Uh, LA made ethical swimwear here at Bromelia. And uh, how much is the ethically made swimwear? Let's see, can we see a price on this? $124 for these bottoms right here. Again, that's the uh, prices you pay for things on Abbot Kinney, which you stand there, and then you look across the street at goodies that says nothing over $25, and you're like, that sounds pretty good right about now. This is a funky little spot, Loco Coco. Uh, they've got like a restaurant here. It's another kind of like acai bowl place. They've also got smoothies, superfood paradise, but I just like the... Um, pink house and this little funky little courtyard that you can hang out in. There's a lot of these like funky little courtyards down here. So if you're walking about and you get tired, just kind of like, you know, hop on in and lounge at one of those places. Uh, this mural, I don't know if it was painted like this or graffiti like this, or if it just gets painted over and over again in front of Sweet Finn for uh, poke bowls. Marine Layer from San Francisco, absurdly soft gifts. They have a lot of like fleece, flannel, things to keep you warm because San Francisco is really cold. Blue Star Donuts. Uh, what do they got in here? Very few donuts. There's like four donuts on the counter. The OG, raspberry, sugar and spice, and Mexican hot chocolate. I don't know why you open if you only have four donuts. Okay, the other high-end soap shampoo place is Le Labo right here. Uh, I prefer these to Aesop, so if I have like a um, thing that I'm looking at, I look at the Le Labo perfumes, but they're pretty good. If you stay at Park Hyatt, uh, that is generally the soap and shampoo you'll get uh, at Park Hyatt's and other high-end hotels. Doc Martens, famous for their boots. It's like, so yeah, you come in here, like what do we sell? We sell boots. All right, uh, Lou, Lemon athletic clothing. They're closed for renovation. This is uh, apparently one of the most famous murals in Venice. I only say that by the people, maybe like standing in line, taking photos. I see a lot of people taking photos with this particular mural, which is on the side of rag and bone. Those of you that are Venice locals, Tell me, there's probably a more famous one 
that I missed, uh, but where we started this walk was right in front of that mural right there. And uh, that brings us to what I'm going to call the end of the walk, because if we go any further, we run out of shops. But if you go about three more blocks that way, you get to the beach. Blue Bottle Coffee, uh, our other favorite coffee shop right there. And if you're looking for luggage or you've seen advertisements for Away, because they're a very big kind of like online luggage presence, they have a brick and mortar store right there. Well, fellow explorers, if you're coming to Venice Beach, you might want to check out my video of the boardwalk right here, which is an adventure in and of itself. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'm going to see you in that video.